What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and today I'm going to show you how to use your virtual display driver with Sunshine so that you can stream in pretty much any resolution. So let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have both Sunshine and the virtual display driver installed. Any version of the display driver should work, uh, but yeah, you're going to go ahead and want to install both of those and then go to the configuration page of sunshine now you're going to go to audio and video and you'll notice that we have some options here including the output display so we're going to go to our file explorer go to this pc and then your c drive in your c drive we're going to go to program files and then we're going to look for sunshine inside sunshine we're going to go to tools and you'll see dxgi-info.exe so up here we're actually going to type in cmd and press enter and that's going to open up the command prompt window and then we're going to just drag dxgi info in here and press enter and now you can see exactly which monitors are labeled what so you can see that my um, main display is display eight my uh, secondary display is display six and my virtual display is display 11 even though i only have three it assigns them their own number here and you can see which adapter they're connected to the 47 eti um, and we can also see the other adapters available microsoft basic render adapter so we need to know this one right here the display 11 we're going to go ahead and copy that and we're going to paste that here great now you're just going to want to change uh, the advertised resolutions and choose specifically the one you want. For example, if we're streaming to a Steam Deck, um, that is actually 1280 by 800. So let's add that as a resolution. And I might even take off the other resolutions that we're not using. Uh, that one's all right. Uh, that one's all right. So we basically have 1080p, 2K, 4K, or the Steam Deck native resolution there. And then you can choose uh, the refresh rates you want as well. If you want to add a refresh rate that's supported by the um, virtual display driver, I would recommend either um, adding it to the XML file first, like for example, if you want 244 hertz or something crazy like that, and then adding it here as well. Then all you're gonna do is hit save and restart Sunshine to apply the changes. So let's go ahead and apply and Sunshine will restart. And once you start streaming to it, it will stream to that virtual display. And that works whether it is the main display or not. The one thing you will need to be aware of is some games will default to the main display. So you may want to manually in the settings of the games, set them to open up on the virtual display, or you can set the virtual display as main, just make sure to set it back after. Well, that's it for this one. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And as always, we have a good one. Peace. You can learn a thing or two about a new device. Unboxing kudos, we rock that pseudo. Administrative elevator command. We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. That's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?